This is the fried rice my childhood dreams are made of. It's a very special, to me anyway, Chinese sausage and egg fried rice. Everyone has that favorite childhood dish that their mom or their grandma or their families make for them. And for me, it's this very, very simple Thai style fried rice. And yet the combination of the flavors and the aromas and everything are just one of those childhood memories that I just adore. So let's get started on the Chinese sausage part first, because this is, I think, the real crux of this recipe for me. Uh, this is the Chinese sausage, also called lap chong. And um, so this is a like a sweet pork flavor. It is a cured pork. You can find it's shelf stable. So you can find it in the Asian section of a lot of supermarkets or from your Asian grocer or try online as well. It's really worth seeking out. Nothing else really has the same flavor. So I want a couple of these and some very thin slices here. You can see that inside it's a very firm sausage and it really does have this pop beautiful porkiness. So those of you who have been watching my channel for a long time now would have met my mom Noi by now, or Mama Noi, she's very famously known now. I grew up in a half Thai, half Australian household, hence my Australian accent. But this fried rice dish, along with like so many of my mom's other recipes as well, were favorites in my household. This is my gorgeous mom, this is my dad. Look how spunky my mom was when she was little. Oh, so cool. And to us, food was always the most important thing in our family. We loved to eat it, to travel to eat it, to talk about it, to cook it. And I think this is where, you know, this passion for food that I have now has always come from. Just osmosis from the most amazing mother cook there is. Um, now, so sausage is done. Let's get a couple of the other things ready. I want some onion as well. And I want some spring onion here as well. I think the combination of the two onions is important here. The spring onion kind of adds a more intense oniony flavor, whereas the brown onion kind of turns a little bit sweet in the dish. And now I also want some eggs. And then let's talk about the rice. So being in a Thai family, Thai jasmine rice was always our choice at home. But you could use any kind of long grain rice that you've got. Um, I like to make it the day before if I can and keep it in the fridge and that makes it kind of loose and firm. I've also got a video on how to make rice, especially for fried rice on my YouTube channel if you wanna check that out. And now we're ready to get everything into the wok. I wanna get this wok smoking hot people. I want it to really char and give that kind of smoky flavor to the fried rice. Okay, some oil, and then in go the onions. And the garlic. Now just stir fry these for about half a minute until the onion just starts to color. And now that gorgeous ruby red Chinese sausage. And again, give that sausage some time to get some color and some char on it. Good stir frying or good fried rice making is all about the time and temperature in the wok. Okay, so you can see that kind of color that I'm talking about there on the onion and on that sausage as well. Now I'm gonna push everything to the side and add in a little bit of extra oil. And then in goes my egg. So you want to give this egg a chance to form its own little omelette here. This is in lieu of doing the omelette separately, which I find is such a waste of time when you can just get it all done properly in the pan at once. So I like to just move the egg around, swirl the pan, try and give it as much heat contact as possible. And when it's almost set, now we flip it over. Okay, mix everything through. Time for the rice, soy sauce, fish sauce, and for me, always a non-negotiable for Thai fried rice, a little bit of white pepper. Mm. And look at that, look at that glorious 
kind of autumn colour. I love that. Just makes you want to dig right in. So simple, oh, and yet, just wait till you try this, guys. Generous helping on the plate, and of course, every Thai fried rice needs a little bit of garnish as well. And for me, that has to include a cucumber, and in the style of my beautiful mother, I am going to make a decorative cucumber because that's the way I remember it as a child. It's just not the same without it. So use your julienne peeler if you've got one and just cut the skin here all over the cucumber. And then you've got to be happy with that pretty little shape. Just makes me smile. That goes on the plate. And another non-negotiable for me with Thai fried rice, a little bit of lime juice. That goes there. And there you go guys, this is my childhood fried rice. Really simple dish, but wow. I mean, every time I eat this, it's like, it's like my mum's right here giving me a hug or yelling at me, one or the other. <laughs> you guys have seen her videos. <laughs> I want some lime juice on here. Okay, gotta get some pork and some egg here. Mm. This to me is like the ultimate comfort food. Beautiful eggy egg and that pork with the little sweet pops throughout the rice. Mm. Just perfect. Hey mum, are you gonna come eat some? Yeah. Yeah. And here. I made it like you make it. Oh, okay. Like my idea. Mmm. Oh, I didn't say you could have a cucumber. I like That's mine. mine with this one. I know you like it with the cucumber. Mmm, very tasty. Does that pass the test? Mm hmm. Pass the test. <laughs> <laughs> I learned from the best. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's how you If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys. Food.